this is a case of a foreign body fish bone in right tonsils so this patient's parents had come to me with a history of uh, throat pain excessive crying following ingestion of fish meat the actually the patient was being made to eat fish meat by his mother following which uh, the patient started crying and since then was having complaint of throat pain so what i did was to do an endoscopy in a conscious small kid which i, where I could see a fish bone lodged within the right tonsillar area so i decided to go for removal of the fish bone under general anesthesia as you can see the patient is in a supine position i have secured the oral cavity with a boyle davis mouth gag so to have a good surgical exposure uh, if you if you take this patient uh, for the removal of the foreign body uh, under local anesthesia of the patient is conscious uh, the patient is never gonna cooperate because being a very small kid this kid is two years in age is never gonna cooperate and this can lead to you know the entry of the fish bone into a secondary area which could lead to even more serious complications so it's best way to avoid that and take the patient under GA and as you can see uh, the area for my surgical exposure is excellent uh, with a secure uh, BD Boyle Davis mouth gag. So as you can see that's the segment of the fish bone you can see lodged within the right tonsil and to my experience I can say that another half of the segment is within the tonsil. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a serrated forceps. As you can see, my forceps has a lot of serrations so that I can have a proper grasp on my fish bone. So the trick I'm going to use here is to hold the fish bone. Now that's going to be a lot of fogging just to avoid that. So I'm going to hold the fish bone and I'm going to completely remove it sideways as you can see there. Okay, so and I'm then gonna twist it, that is rotate it clockwise, and I'm then gonna try to come out under vision. Never ever come out without vision, it should be always under your vision. So I'm gonna come out very carefully so as to prevent a re entry somewhere else, and then I'm gonna come out. If you do not remove the fish bone sideways first step and you you rotate it in the first step without removing it sideways it's going to break up uh, and the remaining other half is going to be in the tonsil and that's going to lead to secondary infection so that's it